carb blockers. Do they work or do they not work? That's what we're gonna be talking about today. Let's go. Hey guys, what's good? Joe here with Let's Go Low Carb. And on a recent trip my wife and I took to Sarasota, Florida, I always like to go out to these really nice breakfast places and I've missed out on a lot of things since I found out I was diabetic because I won't eat a lot of things because I just don't want my sugar levels to be high. I don't want to risk neuropathy. Uh, I may be a little overcautious about that, but that's just what I want to do. I just want to make sure that I'm extra safe. But during this trip, there were some places that had some really good reviews on their French toast or their chicken. And I was like, man, I wonder if there's a way for me to try these out. So I did a little bit of research and I found out about carb blockers. And I thought to myself like, hey, it might be worth a shot checking them out and seeing if they actually work. So we walked into a CVS. I bought this Irwin Naturals 3-in-1 Carb Blocker. Now, I've read some reviews about this before I bought it, and the reviews overall seem to be good. There were some people said, oh, it doesn't work, but I think some people are trying to uh, take two of these pills and then eat a whole box of Oreos. Not what I'm trying to do. Now, first, let me just say this. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a health expert. I'm not giving you any advice here on this. I'm not saying that these do or don't work. I'm telling you what they did for me. So the first day I took them, uh, we ate half a piece of French toast with some real maple syrup on it. Okay, we went to this place down there called Yoder's. I got, you know, I did have some protein with it. So before we ate, about 10 minutes before we ate, I took two of these and then I ate my eggs. And then after that, I ate about half that piece of French toast with the real maple syrup on it. My sugar levels didn't go up very high. I got to maybe like 130 for me. That's not high at all. The next day, when we got to breakfast, I had two of these. Uh, we went to this place, I think it was called Station 400. They had this pancake, it was like the specialty uh, cake pancake. Then it had this coconut uh, custard on, on top of it with these coconut flakes. And I ate half of that. Sugar levels didn't go higher than they normally go. Something like this stuff really works if you're using it as intended. The third place that I tried these, we went in, it was a place called Made. I had this omelet, first of all, and it was called The Meats and it was, it was amazing. But then I decided to go ahead and get their chicken and French toast because they're known for their chicken and I love French toast. So I probably ate a whole piece of French toast and then a couple pieces of small chicken with a little bit of syrup on it. And my blood sugar went up maybe just a little bit higher, but I didn't even get to 150. To me, for somebody like me, I'm not gonna use this all the time. I'll use this on special occasions. Overall, in my opinion, these work for me. If you get any experience with these, make sure you leave a comment down below and let me know if these work for you. Now, obviously, if you take two of these or any carb blocker out there and you eat a whole box of Oreo cookies, it's not gonna stop all the carbs from getting into your body. It's meant to block some of them. I'm also gonna leave a link down below where they tell you how carb blockers actually work and if they actually are effective, because that's what I looked at before I even tried these. So thanks for sharing your time with me. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you like this video, share this video, and I'll see you next time with some more Low Carb Lowdown.